Hello and welcome to the Philippines. The cost of living as far as housing rentals is the topic of this video. I'm going to talk a little bit about inflation, a little bit about shrinkflation, uh, paying the same but getting less. Um, and I'm going to start. I've, I've actually I've had uh, quite a few people asking me for recommendations for places to live uh, short term. Uh, for a month or two and uh, you know without knowing without knowing the budget the requirements the types of places you want to live in uh, the amenities and everything it's difficult for me to give that kind of advice out somebody just say hey do you have any recommendations um, but anyway let's let's get into it here uh, I'm going to cover short-term rentals so you can find short-term rentals on many different sites Airbnb is real popular, and I'm going to show you some some items there. Booking.com, Expedia.com, just a, a bunch of places. Vacation rentals, I think, uh, types like that. And then I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, long-term rentals, what some of the prices, asking prices are. Uh, I'm going to give you some idea. I've, I've lived in the Philippines in Cebu City in particular for seven years, six different condominiums. I've got, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got over a thousand videos up. A lot of those videos are real estate related. Uh, I've had uh, real estate agents in the malls grab me, say, come and look at my condo. And I've always had a camera. I've taken videos, I put it up so you can get an idea of what they look like, what do you get, what do they rent for, what do they sell for. Uh, so we'll get in a little bit of that. I've got cost of living videos, travel videos, so be sure to check out my channel. I've lived at this particular place. If you do a search for many condominiums in the Cebu City area, my videos will come up, uh, some of the top videos. So please subscribe, uh, thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't find these, uh, these videos useful. Um, there are ways to support the channel, uh, Patreon, buy me a coffee, or two or three or four or five, uh, as well as PayPal. So appreciate uh, those of you who find, it, uh, find that they can support the channel as well. I'm going to make a prediction right off. Uh, you know, as most of you know, hopefully, we have, we're in a uh, depression, basically, as far as uh, housing, well, travel around the world. And for two and a half years, almost, we have, there's been virtually no travel around the world. As far as the Philippines, uh, millions of people from around the world that have owned properties here have left. They've gone back. Koreans are the biggest uh, tourist sector, uh, Japanese, Chinese, Westerners from many different countries as well, and other Asian countries. They've gone home. They, many of them own properties or millions of them rented properties. And so we're sitting presently with tens of thousands of units sitting empty, have been sitting empty for most of the last two and a half years. Uh, now, the Philippines, some, some nations are opening up without restrictions. The Philippines still has basic restrictions in that you need to be vaccinated. They've got, they've got other, uh, different regions have other restrictions. So my prediction is uh, most people are not gonna travel until all the restrictions are gone. And I think over 55 nations have done that. No masks, no vaccine cards, nothing required. Uh, people are allowed to go into those countries. Um, because it's it's risky traveling, a number of reasons. Uh, you don't know if, if, the, if these governments, these nations, are going to do another lockdown at some point in time with the latest uh, variant, uh, increased cases, even though the vast majority are very uh, mild, even asymptomatic. Uh, so there's, there's risk there. There's also the fact that the travel industry pretty much shut down. Uh, Tens of thousands of planes parked. Thousands of pilots and crew and support personnel uh, at the airports and for the airlines have been uh, laid off, furloughed, uh, even early retired. You can't just snap your fingers one day and put everything back in place 100%. Uh, 
uh, air airports. I, I think Heatherall in uh, in London has limited the number of flights because they they cannot they do not have the infrastructure to support uh, all the people who presently want to fly, and there are big delays, uh, luggage being lost. Lots of lots of problems in the travel industry as it tries to gear back up. Uh, so the cost the cost of fuel the cost of traveling is going to delay. I think it's going to be another year. The high season in Southeast Asia, Philippines, Thailand, other nations, uh, starts about November each year as it starts getting cold in the northern hemisphere, and people take vacations and they want to go where it's warm. Southeast Asia being one of those places. Uh, so I, I think um, it's going to take about another year, the next, the next high season. We're going to miss this high season again. Uh, the nations are going to suffer greatly, the, the people, the livelihoods, the businesses, uh, because they haven't opened up completely. Um, so my prediction is not until, not until the fall of, of 2023, a little over a year from now that things will hopefully get back to normal if there aren't any more lockdowns. So anyway, therefore the prices of real estate, of rental buying will remain depressed to some degree. Now there are those who who are developers and owners of condominiums or houses of properties that are trying to hold the line on prices, even trying to raise prices. Uh, but there are many who are motivated. They have they have lost their source of income. They were depending upon rental income. They need to rent out their their properties. So there's room for negotiation, oftentimes, and uh, that is uh, that is an option. Anyway, let's get into it. first. We're going to touch on uh, quickly Airbnb and some of the places that are available. I'm here in Cebu City, Cebu. And we'll talk a little bit about that, but uh, it pertains to not just the Philippines, but other nations as well. Now, jumping over to short-term rentals, Airbnb.com. And I do have an account there. I've never used them personally. Uh, But here's monthly rentals in Cebu City. Um, I put in August 1 till the end of August. So uh, basically 30 days. Generally, uh, I've been told by my friends who use Airbnb that, that uh, you get different discounts the longer you stay. And especially after, I think, 28th day, if, you, if you're if you gonna stay at least 28 days, you get a pretty, can get a pretty substantial discount. So I've got one adult and uh, see what came up here. And even over here on the right, you've got uh, You've got lists with different prices, monthly prices. So you can just click on those prices or you can go down and find out a little more information uh, here and it dropped from 40,000 to 32, probably because of the length of, length of stay. Uh, they've got ratings here, which is nice. Uh, queen size bed in Queen City. Entire condo hosted by Gino. I'm glad you don't have to say uh, share the condo. Uh, looks like a nice uh, decor there, even a washing machine kitchen, and they are generally so about thirty thousand, about six hundred a month, and that generally includes your uh, electricity as well. So not not uh, you know reasonable price, I guess. As you scroll down, you can find additional information whether it has Wi-Fi and uh, other amenities included. Uh, you, you usually have a cleaning fee and maybe a service fee as well, and then you can read reviews also. And this kind of makes my point. Um, Avida, I believe this is Avida. And uh, here we go. Avida Towers Riala Studio for 32500 about $600. If you are the condo owner and you are including the electric water and everything, you have to raise that rate to cover. If somebody's going to be in there running their air con uh, 24-7, you need to have the rate high enough to cover those expenses. Avida Towers, located at Avida. This is a one-bedroom unit. 
47,000. Sun Vida, Red Cross from SM, 34,000. Almost 35,000 a month. Less than $700 a month. Avenir is, uh, is on Gerardo Avenue. No. Avenir is uh, pretty close to Waterfront Hotel. In fact, it's uh, it is marketed as a a business condo. We'll just take a look at a few more here. A condo in Cebu City near downtown, uh, about twenty thousand a month, about four hundred. They're asking. And Grand Residences, uh, very close to IT Park. Selenia, I've done videos there, and Selenia, nice pool area there. Bamboo Bay Community, there again, about 30,000. That's pretty close, getting right around 30,000 mark, give or take a couple thousand. The Pyramid, I've done uh, like six or seven videos of the Pyramid. I lived in this building, LaGuardia Flats 1 over here, and I watched them build this. I did videos while they were building this pyramid, it is now, uh, looks in terrible, terrible shape, looks like it's been abandoned. Uh, the workmanship did not hold up to the elements at all. And let's just try the map. Let's just try, just out of curiosity, bounce over here to this 11,708 and just see private room. Okay, so it's a private room in a house, uh, I presume. So that might work for some people. You know, it's a, it's a lower price, and uh, you might, depends upon the situation, you might even enjoy the neighborhood and uh, the people. There again, monthly discount, service fee. Now we're going to take a uh, look at a couple different sites that have listings, and uh, rentpad.com.ph is one of those, and I choose this first just because it uh, has a lot of things laid out fairly easily to see. And I can comment on some things. Now, uh, caution to everybody is that uh, listings may not be up to date. Uh, there, some listings may be listed on several sites. Uh, so you may be working for, you may be talking not to the owner, but an agent who knows an agent who knows an agent. Anyway, they, they've got listings uh, around the Philippines, Rockwell Center, uh, tells you how many listings they have. But anyway, let's go do a search for Cebu. Choose rental term, long-term rental, short-term rentals. And this is Bamboo Bay Community. And I can, I've lived in the Philippines for seven years. I've lived in seven different condominiums. I have lived in Bamboo Bay. 24 square meter, uh, fully furnished studio. Bamboo Bay Community is the name of the place, 15,000. Um, you can probably find them for lower than that. It's not a bad price. I had a, when I stayed there, I had a large garden unit. I had, uh, this is a, uh, I had a 22 square meter unit with a 10 square meter garden unit. And I was paying 20,000. This was before pre-pandemic. And here you're fully furnished here again at Bamboo Bay Community. What you have is a small, very small, uh, what you would call a balcony, just enough to stand out there and that's about it. And another price there, 18,000 a month. One bedroom fully furnished service department. That means they come in, they change your sheets, maybe once a week, perhaps twice a month, but it's larger, 45 square meters. Multiply by 10. And add a few, and that gives you probably 400 and close to 470 square feet, something like that, uh, for 32.5. If it's a serviced place, it's going to cost you more money. Azalea Place, um, one bedroom fully furnished, uh, 20,000, 30 square meters, 300 and maybe 16 square feet. Uh, they're asking 20000 and some of these will be negotiable, so keep that in mind. Uh, Mi Vesa. Now, I have not been to Mi Vesa. Uh, a number of people, in fact, I just had a question, a comment, an email from somebody 
asking me, they, they'd gone to Thailand for a few months and they'd lived in Mivasa and asked me for recommendations. And I said that, well, I don't know what your budget is. I don't know what your requirements are uh, or your uh, any of your desires, the amenities, types of things that you want. So on, on, until I know that type of information, I can't, it's difficult for me to recommend places. Uh, Selenia Tower, this is right across from Ayala Mall in Cebu City, 30 square meters. Uh, so it's larger than a 22 square meter, which is very common. Uh, they're asking 25. Studio apartment in uh, Bougain Villa. I'm not sure where that is. I've, I've heard the name before. 9,000 a month, 25 square meters. Um, Avida Towers is an IT park, uh, fully furnished unit, it says, 22 square meters. I don't think any of these have balconies, 17,000 a month. Fully furnished studio unit at Grand Residences, uh, just basically across the street from IT park, 22 square meters, 15,000. And what has happened, 22 square meters, is, is pretty small, but it's studio. It is. It's, it works for uh, for some people, not for others. And uh, nine, ten years ago, they started downsizing units with the, with the uh, fast growth of Cebu City. Developers started making units smaller in order to fit more people in the same space. And uh, I know my chair squeaks. Somebody mentioned <laughs> mentioned that in the uh, in in a previous video, a motorbike video that uh, uh, your squeaking chair adds some reality to the something like that reality to the video. Anyway, here we are. I'm not sure where this is. Fully furnished one bedroom unit at Kiner Hills Mac Tan. Interesting. McCann Island is pretty flat, so uh, there is no hill. You're not going to be sitting on a hill, but 30, uh, 36 square meters, 25,000 they're asking. Uh, Garden View, Studio, Selenia, there again. Selenia, Selenia has several towers, uh, so it just depends on when. They've got nice pools and uh, right across the street from Ayala. Uh, 32 Sanson, this is, uh, I've done a video there, and I was asked to take it down uh, because I had put some, I think that's the one I, I took down because I'd put, uh, I'd put pricing up that the agent showed me and there was some real estate people who didn't want all the pricing because pricing changes over time. So I need to go in and edit that video and, and put it back up. But it's a higher end, very nice. I've done videos there. I will put that video back up in the coming uh, week or two, asking 52,000. And 64 square meters, that's a nice size unit. 660 square feet, probably, something like that. Another one at 32 Sanson, 67. So maybe a better view, better location, much better furnished, I don't know. Minimalist one bedroom unit so uh, not very well furnished I guess for 55,000 midpoint is over on uh, S Fortuna in Mandawi uh, midpoint 20 square meters 13,000 a month brand new semi furnished two-story house in Sunbury Homes development 80 square meters so nice size 15,000 a month semi-furnished so you would have to depending on what your needs and requirements are um, luxurious studio and Tambouli seaside living 27,000 a month 37 square meters that would be interesting over there on Mac Tan uh, right near the ocean Tambouli I have not been over there yet studio unit in Mambling doesn't say if it's furnished or not 10,000 a month and let's jump over to another site. And here again, all these sites you can uh, you can do searches. Uh, the offer type for rent, property type, um, any apartment, commercial, condominium, house, uh, region, 
any, you can put a price range in there, bedrooms, how many bedrooms you're looking for, uh, price range, you can put in amenities. Uh, but anyway, let's go down here, 106 square meters, so good size uh, townhouse. They call it apartment, looks like townhouse. La Palma, I should know where that's at, but I'm not absolutely positive. 19,000, 28 square meter, unfurnished one bedroom. Now it, it shows it as furnished, all the pictures, these are the pictures, that's one picture, that's all you get. It shows it as furnished, but it says it's unfurnished for this amount, 28 square meters. 28 is better than 22 or 20. Uh, room for rent, beside USC main convenient, affordable, 7,000. I mean, it's a room, so you'd have to supply everything, I presume. Uh, Semi-furnished with windows and private CR, 8,005. About a hundred and a uh, little over a hundred and sixty dollars. Keep in mind, many of these owners will negotiate the terms and the uh, the amount. Or three bedroom presidential suite for rent, Benilid, for a hundred and twenty thousand. That's about uh, two thousand four hundred, I think. You can find almost anything you want and try try a couple of different uh, uh, sites. Um, you, you can find the low end, the, the mid range, the very, very, very high end um, as well. You have houses, townhouses, rooms for rent, um, those sorts of things. Uh, Keep in mind that fully furnished means many different things to different people. It might mean that you've got a, a, uh, a very simple bed, a very small table, uh, and a rice cooker, that, uh, and maybe a small refrigerator. That might mean fully furnished to some people. Uh, other people, fully furnished means very, very well furnished. So understand what you're getting into uh, ahead of time. I've had uh, three written leases. Um, I've rented from the same person twice. That's why it didn't, doesn't add up. And then I've had verbal agreements. And everything has worked out. I, I haven't had any issues with, uh, uh, with, with the landlords about getting my, uh, my deposit back. Standard procedure is to put the first month's deposit down and two months deposit so basically three months if it's if if you're paying twenty thousand a month that means you would come up with sixty thousand pesos ahead of time and you can often use that uh, if you're going to move out you can pay your last month's rent with one of those months deposits as well and once you get out of the city generally rents drop this is up uh, north of Cebu depending on traffic, uh, maybe an hour or so, depending on what part of Cebu City you're coming from. Uh, airy, brand new two bedroom apartment uh, with covered parking, 44 square meters, 10,700. 10,000 is about, uh, that'd be a little over, just over 200 US dollars. And this may be the same one, not sure, or part of the same apartment complex and or this is the the owner has several in that building perhaps three bedroom house for rent in peace valley subdivision and some low price units here studio room for rent uh, golden valley in la hoogue which is up by it park uh 5500 just a little over 100 us dollars one bedroom now it's got it's got one bed, it doesn't, it's not a one bedroom. And just give you some other ideas, semi-furnished uh, for rent, 5,500. Um, 75 square meter, that's pretty good size. Three bedroom executive apartment. So it's an older unit back before they started downsizing everything, I guess. And uh, 55 square meter executive studio apartment in Banawa. That would be interesting. 13,000. 
room for rent. Furnished one bedroom apartment, 8,000 a month. Two bedroom apartment for rent uh, in Talisay. That's just south, about an hour or so from Cebu City. Just see what that is. Four pictures. So you got a kitchen area, got uh, decent cabinet space. Gated driveway. Not sure if you're allowed to use that for a vehicle or not. And a CR bathroom. Let's jump over to a website called numbio.com. Numbio is the world's largest database about worldwide housing and real estate prices and its indicators. It allows users to enter or edit price, rents, interest rates, and other relevant information regarding housing for every major city in the world. And additional information, uh, select a type or pick a, and pick a city, pick a country. Let's pick the Philippines right there and gives us some uh, property price information here rents per month uh, in a city center outside a city center these are one bedrooms so one bedroom apartment in the city center they're probably talking about manila primarily which is huge huge and big differences within manila as well um, 19,000, close to 20,000 would be 400 uh, US dollars, a little less than 400 US dollars. And it gives you a range here. Of course, there's a really broad range depending upon what your requirements are, what your budget is, of course. And outside the city center, uh, a little over 10,000, about 200 US dollars there. And they've got three bedrooms. They have uh, buy price for apartments, uh, salaries and financing. Cebu, the Philippines, price to income ratios. Price to, uh, price to income ratios, and they, they put numbers on all this if you want to learn more about it. And here we go, a one bedroom apartment, uh, over 28,000 average and the, see the thing is you can edit this so if you own property you can come in and edit it upwards to give everybody the impression that everybody is uh, paying more for rent than what they actually are <laughs> so it can be manipulated so you're not sure uh, you know budgets and inflation and prices are very personal you you, you have many choices and i definitely would not uh, this was this is a pretty good range but uh you you can find this range actually lower it's not actually accurate it's it's a pretty good range but you can find one bedroom units for less than this with motivated uh, landlords and you can find them uh, for much more than this as well just out of curiosity, bounced over to Iloilo, Philippines, over on uh, Panay Island. And you've got some information here on property prices. Um, rental yields, that's kind of interesting. And let's go down here to uh, the apartment rentals. One bedroom in the city center, 8,000. And uh, very... Well, they don't have a range. 15,000 is what they have listed here. And outside the city center, 5,000. Of course, there's going to be a wider range. But here again, it's, it's based on people inputting data. And you can edit this data. So you're not sure how accurate it is, actually. So you have dozens of sites online. But another good way, uh, Filipinos are some of the most network people in the world you can ask uh, people that you meet here and they know somebody who knows somebody who has uh, places for rent places for sale they know uh, if you need to move something they, they know somebody who has a, a truck or some kind of vehicle to help transport you uh, don't be afraid to ask Filipinos very helpful very friendly 
And there's also many signs out on the street poles. Banners, is a, printing banners is a huge business here. And a lot of the units are not listed online. They're signs out on the street. Uh, so you can uh, try to contact uh, people that way as well. I would suggest, uh, before you come here and start looking, I, I suggest that you make a list of your requirements, make a list of the amenities that you need and those that you would like, and your budget. Uh, you know, it, it, it's your responsibility, of course, to stay within your budget. And uh, if you need to negotiate, a lot, of, a lot of people are willing to negotiate. They might ask for pre-pandemic prices up front, but uh, one thing that's happened over the years with the growth and demand here in Cebu City and other cities is rents and sales prices have risen very, very, very rapidly. So if they bought in pre-selling many, many years ago, they have, they have some margins to play with. If they bought in late, they bought at the highest prices, they have less room to negotiate. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, uh, stay happy, and uh, hopefully we can travel all soon. See you.